If you're looking to close more sales reps in your final interviews, then this video is for you. Let's go. Hey guys, it's Ryan Holman, founder of Sales Recruiting University, back with another weekly video. Again, my company, SRU Sales Recruiting University. We're now a 45 person sales recruiting service and coaching company. We recruit well over a thousand commission based sales reps every single month and growing and help clients with things like compensation plans, onboarding process, training processes, culture retention, and more. And we come to you every single week like this to provide you unique value that's coming up for those clients. And today, what we're going to talk about is three steps that will help you in your final interviews. Again, the goal in recruiting is to be closing just like in sales, right? You need to be good at closing the opportunities that you get in front of, specifically the people. If you're not good at closing the good people that you get in front of, then it's gonna be difficult to scale up your sales team. Typically candidates, they're looking at five, 10, 15, sometimes up to 20 additional opportunities outside of just you. And so in short, you need to be on your game. These three tips today will help you be better on your game. What I really love about the final interviews, it's really similar to a B2B sales process. Now in a B2B sales process, one of the important things in the call or in the face to face meeting is you're diving deep into the pain of whatever your prospect is going through, right? Like for us, we talk to a lot of clients that have difficulty in the recruiting process. They've either tried to recruit and they can't get quality or higher volumes of people, or maybe they've never recruited before and they just don't know how to do that. Or maybe they've recruited in the past and they've had a lot of difficulty with attrition. They don't know how to like onboard and train and lead people. So they actually stick resulting into sales production, right? And that can bring up a lot of pain. Well, in our sales process, we're diving into those things. So our sales team can kind of really dig into that that pain and pull that out and help them understand why Sales Recruiting University is the solution. Now, there's a lot of similarities between what happens in that B2B sales call and a recruiting process. And if you're in B2B, this should make perfect sense. Before we get into the three steps, I want you to understand the context around that SRU recruiting process so you can take these three tips, understand the context of it and implement it into your recruiting model, whatever that may be. So our clients go through an eight step group interview process and an eight step final interview process. The group interview process is pitching the dream, helping the group of candidates, whether it's a face to face or you know, online environment, understand the culture, why the industry is unique, why it's unique specifically from a sales career perspective, the company story, the plans for growth in the future, what they've accomplished, talking about success stories of clients and maybe sales reps if they have any, the income opportunity, what the top you know income opportunity is, what the advancement looks like within the organization, right? They're going through the pitch of the A to Z opportunity and at the end of the group interview, the candidates are either interested or not in moving forward and then they get into the final interview. And so that's also an eight step process that we have. These three steps that I'm gonna talk about about today are specifically steps two, three, and four. And we recap on these with our clients a lot because they're extremely important. Again, really similar to a B2B sales process. So tip one out of three, this is the information gathering phase. So from our perspective, again, we have the group interview and the final interview process. In the group interview, we pitch the dream and the candidate is interested for whatever reason. And now they're in a final interview in front of you. So we want to understand why they're there. So this is, hey, so obviously you showed up yesterday and now you're here in a one-on-one -on -one and there's something that intrigued you about the opportunity what exactly is that? And so we're just simply finding out what it is that they like about the opportunity already. The next thing that we're doing within this first tip is understanding what's been missing from past opportunities. So this candidate that understands your opportunity and is now meeting you one-on-one, -on -one, you gotta understand that they haven't found the career opportunity that they are 10 out of 10 in love with and they're still looking. And so you wanna understand exactly why that is. So, hey, John, obviously you're still looking for an opportunity. I know you've had four jobs in the past. Like what was it about those opportunities that's missing and still has you looking for the right career today. Like there must be something that has been missing historically. What is that? And so this is where we're diving into the pain and understanding, you know, the things that they have not liked about their opportunities in the past. So we can use that to close them down in the final interview. The third thing that we're doing within tip one is understanding what they truly desire for the future. So cool. That makes sense, John. Love it. But what is it that you truly desire for your future? And they're going to say whatever they say. So we've understood what they like about our opportunity already. What's been missing from past opportunities based on their previous employers and what it is that they're truly trying to accomplish within their sales career. And this is again, that information gathering phase. And so this is really good information. So within this first tip that we're talking about, you've learned a lot about the candidate, right? We've gathered a bunch of information, which is good for the quote unquote close. Now I'm going to go into the second tip, which is just kind of like painting the rest of the picture of the candidate. So let's say that you have ABC qualifications and you want to understand XYZ from a culture perspective, and you're going through kind of the information gathering phase. And that paints like 75% 
represented the picture of the candidate that you want to understand to make a decision if you want to hire them or not. Well, tip two is just kind of painting the rest of the picture with questions. So those are typically skill-based questions or culture-based questions. And the goal of tip two is just to paint the rest of the picture so you can understand if this guy or gal is most likely a fit or not. So tip one, again, is the information gathering phase. What do you like about our opportunity already? What's been missing from past opportunities? What is it that you truly desire in your future? Tip two is finishing up painting the picture of the candidate to understand if you want to hire them or not, right? Those are typically skill and culture slash value questions. And then tip three for today's video is just painting a picture of the opportunity. This is again, technically step four in our eight step final interview process. And hopefully this is making sense, but we call this the opportunity recap, where we recap our eight as the opportunity in a way that helps them confirm the things that they already liked about our opportunity, helps them understand that this opportunity is not going to include whatever they hated about their past employment opportunities. And we want to also help them understand within this opportunity recap that everything that they want to accomplish within their career can happen at this organization. So again, in the first tip, we've gathered the information. In tip two, we've asked the additional questions to help us understand the A to Z candidate. And then in tip three, we've painted our opportunity in a way that helps them understand that this is the perfect opportunity for them to accomplish whatever they want to accomplish. And they come to a decision that, okay, cool. What this person is communicating, what I believe now is that all the negative things about past opportunities, I'm not going to experience here. And all the things that I want to accomplish within this opportunity is accomplishable here as well. Okay, I want to move forward. Let's work together. I'm ready to rock and roll, right? So that's what we're doing. Hopefully this made sense and hopefully you got a ton of value today. Go ahead and subscribe, share, drop a comment, whatever you want to do. And we'll look forward to dropping the next video. Thanks.